Thanks to new funding from the legislature, crews around the state will be doing resurfacing and other projects this summer to extend the life of aging highways. Contracts have already been awarded for pavement overlays in the Sheridan, Green River, Rock Springs, and Newcastle areas. Construction costs have more than doubled in the last six years, and there doesn't seem to be a trend that it's, that it's reversing, and so a lot of our efforts are directed towards surface maintenance as opposed to reconstruction. The new state funding will increase the number of projects that can begin this year by about one-third. This will certainly help uh, with the condition of the roads, particularly with the number of overlays that we plan to do. Uh, but overall, we're still in a declining uh, mode. It would take another $150 million a year above current funding to complete all the projects needed to maintain highways in their current condition. Should we not receive more funding in the future, you're going to see potholes start to show up throughout the state. Uh, you'll see more cracking, you'll see more rutting on the roads. Uh, and uh, it will become noticeable in the future. While the governor and the legislature have supported additional state highway funding, two-thirds of YDOT's construction budget is federal, and it's uncertain at what level federal aid will continue in the coming years. We're just hoping uh, for the best and maybe just maintaining what we have and not uh, losing any ground on the federal side. Reminding you to slow down in work zones and always buckle up, this is Doug McGee reporting. <laughs>